There's beauty in the struggle. That's the message Sergei Perjanov tried to convey to his audience. But his work was cut out for him as he was imprisoned for producing films outside of the sanctioned art style in the Soviet Union at the time, socialist realism. Not one to give up, Perjanov found other ways to express his art. He began making collages. When he spoke about art, he said, I am overglowing by art, and art is beauty. So in his art, you can see the beauty. When filmmaking wasn't an option, collages weren't his only outlet. Perjanov also produced drawings and sculptures. For 15 years, they didn't let Perjanov make a movie. But due to his creative energy, he overcame this by compressing his films into collages. This exhibition features many works, ranging from traditional to pop art, everything from film costumes to drawings and photographs. This is the first time renowned director Sergei Perjanov's work is being shown in Turkey. But this exhibit doesn't just contain his art, it also features work exclusively created by another master artist, Sarkis, who followed and paid homage to Perjanov. I have always used Perjanov's movie Sayat Nova in my exhibitions. Sayat Nova was made in 1969 and it is beautiful. It is a movie that can communicate with all cultures of the world. It is very rich. I must have watched it at least a hundred times. It is about a man who lived in the 18th century. Here you can see 11 TV sets that represent bodies shrouded in carpets. Born in Georgia to Armenian parents, he's considered one of the 20th century's greatest masters of cinema. He would say that his artwork has beauty, and beauty is kindness. Kindness is something that combats evil. So whenever you look at these works, you get warmer spiritually. While his civil liberties were frequently curtailed, Perjanov found freedom in art, which allowed his work to transcend borders. Abdel Halim, TRT World, Istanbul.